guys, I'm Evan. Today I'm sculpting a bunny with some human-like features and we'll call it a running anthropomorphic bunny or a running rabbit humanoid, whatever you want to call it. Firstly, we'll start planning slash sketching the idea. Planning's important, right? Then adding some ink to get the outlines, just, you know, to get an idea which direction we are going. Now I'm making the skeleton or armature wire structure, as they call it, to reinforce this dude. And it's quite a tiny thing, then make a few mistakes, then decide to make the legs a single structure. And voila, now cover the skeleton in some foil meat, make it thick enough to use less clay, but not too thick, that you have too little room for playing and changing with the clay. The dude is now covered in his meat foil, so now starting to lay a clay for some basic form, as you can see. Okay, now we're going to start giving him some muscle. Let's start with the pecs, give this boy some proper chest there. And then after that, we're going to start working on the abs. Add a little worms by worm by worm, and after that we shape it until it represents a six pack of some sort. I don't have one yet, but I've got some pictures from Google and we all got an, kind of an idea what they look like. I've added some a bunch of details off camera. Now adding some forehead and brows to represent a face, a very angry face at that. After I've kind of worked that out, I'll start by adding the nose bridge of similar to a bunny's nose bridge and also a little bit of human influence there now adding the snout now filling up the puffy mouth lip thing that bunnies have the hand part has been cut that you can see exposed to make room for the second hardest thing to sculpt and that is hands for me adding the lower lip to the bunny face then it's off to fill up the cheeks to make the face appear more thicker and a little bit more masculine. Then it is time to fill up the neck to look more realistic, that little stretch that your neck forms when you're running and looking up. And then adding the Adam's apple. And then the clavicle or collarbone more definition now filling out the head and the back make it look more realistic now adding to the top to give the a little bit of bigger forehead and a bigger skull cranium now I'm marking off where I want the ears to be I'm gonna put it in with wire, made the ears off camera. You can see the hole and putting some super glue to keep those intact. The glue is to keep the ears in place while I sculpt around it, filling it in to make it a part of the head and look uniform. Now I jump to adding the eyes by add, adding oval shapes to the sockets. Now eyes are the hardest and most intimidating part of any sculpture for me. Now back to the ears, let's add the little folds on top of the ear to give it a little bit of depth. Now let's add some hair, started with little wormy looking things and slowly but surely adding lines to it to make it look like realistic hair. Adding more and more and layering it until I think I'm happy with it. Spoiler alert, I didn't like the hair. Yeah, I'm grinding off the hair. How do they say it? If you don't like your hair, grind it off. Please don't do it. I also grinded and removed the eyes 
and I'm redoing that. I really didn't like what I was seeing. Now attaching the hands that I did mostly off camera was a real challenge these hands. Of course I'll have to grind again, added a lot of clay to keep the hands in place. Gave him a little wristband as an apology for grinding him so much. Then I'm also adding a random bicep pouchy thingy on his arm, you know, cause why not? And then time to cover those toeless feet in the first layer of what you call shoes. Time to make the base. After it's been foiled up, we can start layering some clay little by little. I've added a bunny and wired him to the base, some foil and some clay to represent the feet on the floor. Going for the effect of a powerful and fast running motion breaking the floor as it hits the ground, adding some little broken rocks to represent that. Now for the painting. Oh, I painted a lot off camera. Important to remember to press record. Painting some of the face and then adding a little bit of white to the snout and then painting the numerous frills and bands and stuff on his leg bright red to the shoes continue painting his accessories soles of the sneakers and then of course the base after a bunch of back and forth to let the base represent some sort of rocky ground surface i thought let's add some blue electrifying colors to the cracks to make it appear more powerful. A few touch-ups and I think we're ready for the reveal. Enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe. Cheers.